Hello from the National Weather Service Forecast Office in San Diego. I'm meteorologist Dan Gregoria here to discuss the active pattern continuing here across the Pacific. We're eyeing two additional storms to impact Southern California through the week. So let's take a look here. This is the upper level pattern. Watch as this storm moves south here across Southern California. One wave here tonight and Wednesday, then the other storm right behind it. Uh, poised to track here and impact Southern California. So let's take a look at the details. Storm number one arrives tonight, continues through at least early Wednesday, and that promises for a wet commute here Wednesday morning. Stay extra safe out there on those roadways. Strong winds on those mountain ridge tops and desert slopes. Gusts could top 70 miles per hour in those unpopulated areas. And this will be a warmer system. Uh, snow levels will stay above 6,000 feet with a few inches at those higher elevations. Storm number two, though, arrives Wednesday night, continues through Thursday, even into Friday. This is a stronger storm system with more precipitation and colder air, so heavier mountain snow looks to be a good bet. And then more rain on the way. We need it, so this is beneficial, but it's going to impact now here the Thursday morning commute, the Thursday evening commute, and possibly even the commutes on Friday. So that's the unfortunate aspect of the rainfall, but we'll take what we can get. So here we're looking at timing here of the storm systems. This storm moves across the area here overnight, exits San Diego County later in the afternoon. We get a break late uh, Wednesday into the evening, but here comes storm number two impacting Southern California Thursday uh, and starts to exit the area, but we get wraparound moisture here, which could keep especially those coastal slopes with precipitation ongoing into Friday. And then it exits the area promising for actually a really nice weekend ahead here once we get past these storms. Looking at precipitation amounts, generally a half to an inch in the metro areas. The big winners are going to be the Coastal slopes, uh, one and a half to three inches of the San Bernardinos and San Gabriels. Deserts, of course, much less, less than a half an inch. Zooming in here, we're looking at the San Bernardino County Mountains. This region in orange, we're projecting two to three inches or more of precipitation with that upslope. Uh, for the metro areas, uh, Orange County, the Inland Empire, a half to one inch. Further south across San Diego County, very similar for the metro areas, a half to an inch, perhaps locally higher. By the way, this is for the two storms combined, but then the mountain tops, the mountain coastal slopes as well, one and a half to two and a half inches. Now let's talk about the snow. Total snowfall for the two systems, we're talking eight to 12 inches, Big Bear and Wrightwood. That cold air arrives, especially Friday, lowering the snow levels to about 5,000, maybe slightly lower. Uh, we projected just above pass elevation, but you can see these hefty amounts, especially above 6,000 feet. For the San Gorgonios and San Jacinto peaks, 12 to 18 inches of snow uh, total. And look at this, even the San Diego County mountains, uh, one to three inches of snow possible. So in summary, we have those two storm systems tonight in the Wednesday, a brief break, and then late Wednesday night, Thursday, even into Friday, uh, that second storm impacts the area. Wet commutes, already discussed that. Wednesday morning, the Thursday commutes, and po perhaps even the Friday commutes to be impacted with those rain slick roads. And then snow covered in the mountains. Uh, so definitely, if you're going up to the mountains, know that the roads will be snow covered above pass elevation by Friday. So that's a look at these two storm systems. We'll keep you updated. Thanks for watching. As always, for the latest information, visit weather.gov. Have a great one.